It's working! Okay. Vincent, yes. tell us about these two reds. I mean, t t Vincent is coming back on the video. I'll tell you, <laughs> yeah, he's back. <laughs> I'm back, I'm back. 2002, 2003, I mean, 2003 seems more profound and sort of baritone and rich. Yeah. Yeah. Well, 2002 is a longer, preciser wine. When to drink these? <laughs> no, tomorrow and after tomorrow, I would say. No, I mean, the two of them, uh, I think, are very interesting for different uh, things to drink today. When we are releasing our wine, that means that we think that they, they are offering, they are proposing a balance, an harmony, uh, an energy, an intensity which is good to understand and to, to appreciate today. But on the other hand, the two of them have the potential to express and develop uh, certain personality and complexity through, through the time. Uh, the difference is that the, their trajectory through the time will be different, uh, of course. And like you were saying, Austria today is showing more maturity, because the, 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 the aromatic, the grapes we, are, we, we picked in Austria three were uh, more uh, riper than a, in term of aromatic than in 2002. Uh, uh, I think that Austria, the aromatic of Austria, has reached a kind of uh, peak of maturity and will be stable through the time, when the O2 is going to transform itself, itself on the aromatic. Uh, uh, on the other hand, I think that the O2 is very extended on the palette today, when Austria is more profound and will develop the extension through the time on the palette. So, two different trajectories for two wines which are coming from very different climates and weather conditions.